Thank you very much. And I also would like to thank Ellen, Anandi and Emory University for inviting me to the Emory Digital Humanities Symposium. And I think it's a wonderful idea and opportunity to present our Naval Kishore Press digital project here and to share ideas and establish new connections with scholars working in the field of South Asian studies. My talk on Naval Kishore Press Digital is divided into four parts. I'll start with some general information on the project funding, then move on to a short description of the Naval Kishore Press collection we house in the library of the South Asia Institute at Heidelberg University. And then I will present to you in more detail our Naval Kishore Press bibliography, as well as the OCR, Hindi and Sanskrit texts from the collection. And finally, I will end with an outlook to our plans for the next three years. Naval Kishore Press Digital is part of a three-year project called Specialized Information Service Asia. In German, it's Fachinformationsdienst Asien and abbreviated FID Asia. It is funded by the German Research Foundation, the DFG. The aim of the FID Asia is to provide access to an ever-growing range of printed and electronic resources. The project is cooperatively carried out by the State Library in Berlin, who is responsible for East and Southeast Asia, and Heidelberg University Library and the South Asia Institute, responsible for South Asia. The web portal Cross Asia is used as a central access point to scholarly information on Asian studies. It has been set up by the State Library in Berlin in 2006 and is now developed further by the three partner institutions. The initial funding period began in 2016 and will last till the end of 2018. For the first three years, we focused on collection development for print and electronic resources, on developing e-publishing services for the Asian studies communities, and on digitization of material from South Asia. Currently, we are applying for a second funding period that will then last for another three years. The Naval Kishore Press was established in Lucknow in 1858 by Munshi Naval Kishore and grew in the following decades to one of India's most important publishing houses. During Naval Kishore's lifetime, the press published around 5,000 titles covering literature in Hindi, Urdu, Arabic, Persian, and Sanskrit on subjects as diverse as religion, education, medicine, school books, popular editions of Sanskrit literature, translation of English classics, and much more. The library of the SRE holds with um, 1,400 titles in print and around 700 titles on microfilm, a representative cross-section of the press's publications. This treasure was hidden in boxes in the cellar of the SRE library, invisible for scholars and researchers, because neither the books nor the microfilms were, catalogued in our, were, were, were referenced in our catalogs. As the screenshots indicate, paper deterioration is a problem for the printed part of the collection, because from the mid-19th century onwards, wood pulp paper was used for printing, which tends to be acidic. The paper is brittle and parts of book pages or even whole pages are already lost. In order to make this treasure visible for scholars, we catalogued the titles and set up the Naval Kishore Press bibliography by using the open source software Refind. The bibliography is intended to be a provenance database and aims to provide access to bibliographic records of works issued by the Naval Kishore Press that are distributed in libraries worldwide. Bibliography has various browsing options, such as languages, format, and provenance, but simple and advanced search for author title and keywords is also possible. Whenever text is online available, a link will lead directly from the database to the online version. It further allows personal organization and annotation of resources through favorites lists, tagging, and commenting features. Bibliographic records can be exported in various formats, such as EndNote and BibTeX, to generate personalized bibliography. Currently, we are enriching the bibliography with 1,200 records from 
of titles from the Bodleian Library in Oxford, and the bibliography will then contain approximately 3,000 entries from eight different libraries. When merging data from different libraries, you have to bear in mind different romanization conventions between Anglo-American and German libraries, which might lead to incomplete search results. We solved this problem by making also the romanized word variants searchable and whenever possible, adding the title in original Devanagari or Arabic script. Here you have a screenshot of the bibliography's homepage with the browsing and the search options, just to give you a quick impression. For reasons of conservation, we decided to digitize parts of the already fragile and brittle paper copies. But we wanted to offer scholars interested in the material more than a digitized image facsimile. The aim of our Naval Kishore Press digital project is to produce machine-readable text that can be further edited using digital editing techniques. We decided to use an OCR software instead of the usual double keying method and try it out on a larger text corpus to see if it can be a suitable and efficient alternative. We decided to use the OCR software for Sanskrit and Hindi programmed by Oliver Helwig on selected text printed in Devanagari script to generate the editable full text versions of the digitized material. The following screenshots illustrate the workflow of the text recognition with the OCR software. First, the image scans are imported and organized in so-called stack files, and the content of the current stack file is displayed in the file list on the navigator window on the right. If you click on one item, the image is activated, and the software has a built-in layout analysis, but text blocks can also be marked manually by framing the relevant text parts. When the recognition is, can be started either by the command recognize current page or recognize all pages. The recognized text is then shown on the right side of the window and the background colors indicate the quality of the recognition. Words found in the dictionary and therefore considered to be correct are not colored. Pink means the word is correct, at least the software thinks so. And orange means you should have a close look. Blue means the software found more than one possibilities. And the variants can be selected and replaced from a word list that opens when clicking on the blue word. The color indicators are quite helpful, but they can also be misleading. I have marked two examples that show typical recognition errors. In the first case, the added vowel sign E has been, um, has been recognized as being a separate character. And in the second case, the vowel sign U is separate from the consonant PA. The software uses dictionaries to increase the accuracy of the output. This works very well for modern Hindi, but not for the Bajan Avadi text we have in the collection, where a lot of words and word forms are not contained in the dictionary and are therefore recognized incorrectly. This means that for some texts we have a rather high error rate, between 20 and 30 percent. And this is, of course, it is possible to train the software and add new words which improves the recognition quality, but still every recognized text needs to be corrected manually. Once this is done, the corrected text will be saved and exported in XML file with text and image coordinates. And this raw data will then be processed further for the web presentation, where we use the DWORK software developed by Heidelberg University Library. The intention of Heidelberg University Library is to provide free and sustainable access to its valuable handwritten and printed material. This can be seen in many national and international digitization projects with cooperation partners worldwide. To realize these projects, the University Library has developed its own software called DWORK, 
which it uses to administer every single step of the digitization workflow from creating the metadata to the storage of scans and also for the web presentation for all digital projects. The software provides a variety of functions for the use of digital copies, such as navigation through the facsimile, a thumbnail overview, zooming in and out, full text search with highlighting the facsimile, as well as components for annotating text and images. The following screenshots illustrate the usage of DWORK for the Naval Kishore Press digital project. The first screenshot here is the homepage of the Naval Kishore Press digital and via the advanced search field, users can search for specific titles or browse the collection by subject. As an example, I performed a search for Ram Ashwamedha and the hit leads directly to the digitized text. Here you have the search for the title and that's the link to the text. Each digital object is assigned a DOI and METS schema, a standard for encoding descriptive, administrative and structural data for objects in a digital library is also provided. The content structures the text and users can go directly to a specific chapter or if they choose go to page, they can type in the page number and then go directly to the page of the text. We also provide a high quality PDF download of the whole document and um, the PDF is also searchable in Devanagari and transliteration. This is page 53 of the text Ram Ashwamedha Varsha and above the facsimile you find a toolbar with a function such as zooming in and out, rotating the image an overview with thumbnail images of the text and much more. The full text search can be performed either in Devanagari. Here you have the text for the full text search and then you type in the word or the phrase. And I used as an example Ganesha. And then you get a list on which page of the document the search term occurs. If you jump on the, here you have the list has been found twice on page 56 and 77. Um, and if you jump to the respective, uh, respective page, the line where the search term has been found is highlighted in the facsimile. And if you click on the tab OCR full text, it is also found in the OCR text. So you can always uh, compare the facsimile with the OCR full text. In this way, the entire text can be searched either in Devanagari script or in transliteration. But we wanted to offer a bit more because digital science and online accessibility to source material have changed the research methods of scholars considerably and made collaborative working on a text or text corpus independent of place and time possible. With our annotation tool integrated in the web presentation, scholars worldwide can annotate the works from the Naval Kishore Press digital collection. Each annotation can be entered comfortably via web form, is provided with the name of its author, and can be clearly referenced and quoted by being assigned a DOI. Text and image zones are selected for an annotation, can be marked in the facsimile via polygons, and these marked zones can then be annotated and further specified via semantic tags. Once the annotation has been saved, a persistent link is generated and the annotation is quotable and will be referenced in library catalogs as a sort of micro-publication. Corrections are of course possible and will be saved as new versions. Earlier versions remain visible and can be accessed through the revision history. Got here an example for a text annotation and the annotated text is underlined in the facsimile and on the right side you have the annotation naming the author and date when the annotation was generated. And the second example is an annotation for an image 
on the left side you see the web form and can choose the polygons for marking the image and on the comment tab you add the annotation then semantic tags you can add keywords and specify the annotation and then there is also a tab for links where you can enter links to external sources and the image the screenshot on the right that's how it, how it looks when the annotation has been saved and you see here the um, image that has been annotated is still marked and here you have the two versions of the annotation the active version which is shown and if you click on the earlier version window opens up and you can um, compare what has been changed so that's basically what we have done in the last two and a half years and I hope I could give you some impression on the, our Naval Kishore Press digital project. We have um, digitized approximately 70 titles from the collection and made them online accessible, 40 of them with an editable full text version in Devanagari script and transliteration. And apart from that, scholars intend, interested to work with the text have the possibility to annotate text and images. And what comes next? Currently, we are in contact with Transcribus, a platform developing methods for automated handwritten text recognition. It is part of the EU or EC funded READ project that is recognition and enrichment of archival documents. We work with Transcribus transcribus in order to test alternative methods for recognizing the Naval Kishore press text in Devanagari script. So far we have uploaded images of approximately 20 titles and defined and corrected the baselines of the text. Then we have produced a ground truth transcription that is an accurate representation of the text on the facsimile. The ground truth transcription and the images are used to train a recurrent neural network to produce a data model to transcribe more text from the Naval Kishore Press collection. The results are very promising and the first model based on one text with only 1100 words showed a character error rate of 13%. Currently Transcribus is training a bigger combined model for us and we expect a character error rate of 1 to 5%. If the model keeps what it promises, it would be a big step forward for the whole project and we are even considering getting a model trained for the Urdu text as well. My last slide shows you the easiest way to access both bibliography and the OCR text. It is via the CourseAsia.org portal and you find, um, find everything under this link. Put down here and it's under thematic portals. I hope you will all access it and use the text and I thank you for your attention.